for one of the structural reform benchmarks of the International Monetary Fund Extended Credit Facility, the IMF, as it were, program of 2015-2018, is this restructuring. We cannot conclude the IMF program without reaching certain levels of the reform. So it means literally it's compulsory. Because we want to come out of the IMF program quickest. And we cannot allow this reform to be a hindrance. So let us make sure that we do it, not to the satisfaction of the IMF, but to our own satisfaction. As far as I'm concerned, this is not meant to please the IMF. If you approach it that way, it is wrong. The IMF sees it as a necessary tool for efficient running of the system because of the role the public sector plays in making certain things work. So they give it as a condition so that they are literally forcing you to look at your public sector. To me, I always say it that a lot of people criticize the IMF, etc., etc. You must always ask yourself, what does the IMF tell countries to do? The IMF need not tell us that we need an efficient public sector system. We need it because it is the source of providing service to the citizenry. And the citizenry is paying for it. We are paying the public service through taxation, through revenue. So we are entitled to it. So they said, please, make it efficient. So we believe that we need it, not because the IMF has told us to do it. As far as I'm concerned, we can forget of what the IMF said. Without the IMF statement, we ourselves need to do the reform to provide this efficient and effective service to ourselves.